This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by NoAgendaShow.com They're beginning to arrive about half an hour early. Some folks taking it to the street. There's even an ex-police officer here. Uh, Brad Jardis, who used to work for Epping Police Department, um, uh, but you've been gone from there for about two months because you couldn't do what they were telling you to do anymore. Why are you here today? Well, um, being a cop for 11 years, I arrested a lot of people for possession of marijuana and undoubtedly caused a lot of kids to get kicked out of school and a lot of people to have their probation violated. And I feel very guilty about that. Um, you know, and I would say to all the police officers, I know every cop I used to work with is going to be listening to this. You know, and a, and a lot of them say think that I'm nuts or tell people that I'm nuts, but the fact is I just have a conscience. And yeah, people do some things that that I'm, I may think is stupid or they may think is stupid, but what's ironic is a lot of these police officers have done the same exact thing. The only difference is, is they didn't get caught. And I mean, I know cops that still use drugs to this very day that are quote-unquote illegal and I know cops whose family use drugs that are quote-unquote illegal and those people even though they support the drug war they shouldn't be prisoners they shouldn't be turned into criminals so I mean we need to really get out the message that we need to stop turning people into criminals for nonviolent acts I'm standing here with a new face, um, Jeanette. Jeanette from New Hampshire. Keen. From Keene. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, are you, is this the first 420 event you've been to? Um, well, official event. I've been down in Keene supporting the uh, 420 goings on. I'm not part of the Free State, but I support the cause. So. Oh, good. Thank you. Well, whenever I see a new face, I just I always want to talk to him. What Absolutely. made you want to come all the way out to Concord for this one? I just it's fucking 420. Like <laughs> I don't know. That's enough for me. Like you know, it's just to support the cause. And I mean, it's we're at our state's capital. You know, representing. You know. What was uh, the impact that the uh, the Nashua arrests had on you, if if any? Um. Well, I'm sorry to say I'm not as updated on the news are but when hearing it through word of mouth it really affects you like oh yeah my best friend you know got jailed or so on and so forth and then it really puts a sort of a, a emotional dent in the surroundings of people's like you know uh, public emotions you know how a mob can get together well that only tries to demote our feelings but and instead of doing so it only enrages us because although we are docile people, we will not stand for an unjust cause and the war on drugs. The war on drugs is an unjust cause. So. Okay. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you. About 4:10 p.m. on uh, 4:20, 2010. I will be surprised if the numbers match what we had on March 20th, because uh, on that day we had the Liberty Forum right down the street, which had boosted numbers. My little sister fell down at 12 set of stairs. Got a little seed. It's a hippie yeah, bomb. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the half sister really is cool. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to Parchet? Uh, I am Parchet. Yeah. yeah, they have a little mirror on the section. Cool. Are they with a hump? Oh, do I get.
reporter turnout is pretty respectable today. <laughs> Anyone got another lighter? <laughs> There's one of my lighter. Parking ticket burn fail. Why don't you roll something up in that? <laughs> <laughs> something. Roll something up. Wow. Activism is tough work. I think it's a safety light. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Josh. So why aren't you paying it? I'd have no problem paying it if it wasn't going to a government. Now, two different folks have come up to me and said that they've spotted undercover officers uh, either orbiting the area or in the crowd, uh, and apparently a U.S. Marshal has been in the area. Uh, but we'll see what all that means. Where, Bill? I don't see. You don't have to tell them a damn thing. Keep the stand still. Ask if you're under arrest. Offer no information whatsoever. No information whatsoever. The sole point of the police talking to you is to gather information. When you wake up in the morning, it's great to hear The No Agenda Show is here But there is nothing to see here Look back and forth like you're covering up for a crack